close your eyes and watch your breath. You can think but with the in-breath, to with the out to means to be awake. Sometimes it helps to use a word along with us to make the breath easier to follow. And you find it helpful? Use the word. If not, you can just watch the breath. Try to be sensitive to how the breathing feels. Where in the body do you feel it when you breathe in? Where do you feel it when you breathe out? Does it feel good? If it doesn't feel good, you can change. For the mind to settle down in the present moment, it needs something that it likes. And so you use the breath as a bait to bring the mind into the present. Otherwise, it's going to go out nibbling on the future and nibbling on the past. It doesn't get anything of real substance, but still it gets something in its stomach, just like the coyotes we have around here. Sometimes you look at their scat and you're amazed at the stuff that they try to eat. It didn't give them any nourishment, but at least it put something inside them. And for a lot of us, that's how we go around feeding on sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. Just whatever we can stuff into our mind. But we don't get any real nourishment from it. The real nourishment comes when you develop good qualities in mind. That's what you do when you meditate. You're developing mindfulness. You're developing your persistence. You're developing your concentration. These are all things that can really nourish the mind. And use the breath as a bait to bring the mind into the present moments to develop these qualities. And you get a certain amount of nourishment from the breath. After all, it is food for the body. Without the breath, the body would die. This what's, it's what keeps us alive. So look after the quality of the breath. That's going to help the quality of your health of the body. And at the same time, the mind gets stronger. And you find that you can feed on a lot better food than you've been feeding on before. So always remember, you've got this internal source of food that you want to develop. It's like knowing that you've got some some land that you can plant crops in, and you've been neglecting it. It's been all weeds, and you look at it, it doesn't look all that promising. But if you start clearing away the weeds and start planting good good seeds in, the, in their place, okay, then you're going to have food, much better food than going around and pilfering other people's crops. So develop what you've got here inside, and you'll find that it really will keep you nourished.